Representative Kara Berkland is proposing to legalize the lottery in Utah. It would require a constitutional amendment, which would go to the voters, which is how it should be. Utah's constitution prohibits gambling, including lotteries, but Representative Berkland says Utahns are driving for the border anyway. Over $200 million worth annually of spending from Utahns in other states. She says that's money that could stay here in Utah and they could lower taxes with it. When I talk to my constituents and they cannot afford to stay in their homes, our property taxes are, are just getting out of control and we have revenue that's being spent by Utahns that could benefit what moral high ground are we standing on when we say that's not government's role? The legislation could face a lot of opposition from social conservatives and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, a powerful presence on Utah's Capitol Hill. The church had no comment on Representative Berkland's bill, but the faith officially opposes gambling in all its forms, including government-sponsored lotteries. I expect opposition, but my hope is, is that we can all see in the bigger picture. In addition to legalizing lotteries, Representative Berkland says her bill would legalize charity raffles. Those are technically illegal, too. Let's be honest, everyone does them. Every lawmaker has showed up at one where it's happening, an event where that's happening. Schools do it, churches do it, everyone's doing charitable raffles. They're for a good cause and technically by the book they are illegal in Utah and I think it's something that with the lottery we can go ahead and, and just fix for our state. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.